Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even so it says in the Psalm, Psalm 16 and verse 10, the psalmist says, says, Lord, you will not, speaking of the Lord, you will not leave my soul in hell, neither will you allow me to see corruption. Hallelujah. St. Acts 2, 27. Praise God. And so Jesus came forth. And by the time he's reborn, resurrected, recreated, life-giving, eternal, glorious, God and human spirit come out of the grave and it hit that body. It instantly resurrected that body and turned that body into a spiritual body. No blood. Divine flesh, divine bone, divine structure, divine body. Because he is human. Jesus is human. Jesus is God. Jesus is human. Jesus is God in his spirit. Jesus is God, hallelujah, uh, in his body, in his soul, hallelujah. And Jesus is man in his spirit and his soul and his body. It's so amazing. Let me read this again. 1 Corinthians 15, 45 through 49. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being or person. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first. But the natural and afterwards the spiritual. The first man was of the earth made of the dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust. So also are those who are made of dust. And as the heavenly man is. So are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Now let me ask you this now right here. Last week we started to get to this. I'm going to close with this today. When did Jesus become a human being in his body and his soul man? When Holy Spirit formed him a body of his own DNA, the original creation of the second Adam. I call that the original creation of the second Adam, which was completely separate of the original creation of the first Adam. When did he become both God and human? By the time the spirit was imparted and he became a living being in the world. But now this. And you see, you see sometimes because we, we get so caught up in time. And of course, that's the realm that we limit it to. We, we don't, it's difficult for us to think outside of this realm. See, Jesus could not come into the earth in his spirit by being only God. Why? Because it is required that a human spirit pay for the sins of all men in hell. It's man who sinned. Wasn't God? Wasn't Jesus? But so that human spirit needs to be also God. He needs to come from a complete sinless origination in his spirit and in his body. But he also has to be God in his spirit. He can't just be an angel, a pure angel. So all of these things had to fall in line. But so when did Jesus become Human in his spirit. Now remember, in the dateless past, before there was any creation, there was God the Father, there was God the Word, Jesus, and there was God the Spirit. And they were all divine, and they were all the same. And then somewhere in the dateless past of trillions of years ago, the Father decided on the plan and shared the plan with Jesus and with Holy Spirit of the creation. So, he is going to create an alternative lifeline in time. And of course, first came the pre-Adamic and so on. I'm going to go into that now and so on. And then the creation, of course, of Adam and so on. And of course, man fell into sin and all of this. But now, Jesus needed to pay for our salvation, not only in this earth as God and this man in spirit and in body, and also down into hell in his spirit to pay the price for us and become sin for us and then pay the price for us. But, you know, he also had to do that as a human spirit. So that was him redeeming us in time and in the reality of the earth and hell. But we had to be redeemed in eternity because he is the eternal Jesus. He was the eternal Jesus. In the beginning he was. Before the beginning he was. After the end he will be. Eternal Jesus with the eternal Father and eternal Holy Spirit. 
And so here's the answer. We talk about it, but see how this fits in. Now, Revelation chapter 13, verse 8 said, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God slain from before, not from the foundation of the world. Some translations correct, uh, translate that incorrectly. You go and study this, of course. We do it in chapter 5 of our book, God's Golden Glory Revolution. We do that, study the whole thing. He was slain. He was killed from before the foundation of the world. But now, wait a minute. He didn't have a body back then. He didn't have a soul man. He wasn't human. Oh, you say he wasn't human. Well, he didn't have a body and he didn't have a soul and he, and he was not created in Mary's womb yet. But he could not die for us even in the dateless past as God alone. See, he had to take care of our redemption in eternity, in the eternal past. So it would last for the eternal future. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. So when he died for us in the dateless past before anything was created. Since there is no time when he died for us in the spirit. Because he had no body. He died for us in the spirit in the dateless past. It lasts and will last for all eternity. That was an eternal redemption of mankind in the dateless past, long before God even created this earth the first time. Now the earth is 4.54 billion years old. Long before th this foundation of this earth, it's 4.54 billion years old. Long before it was made, Jesus had already died for us back in the dateless past before Anything was ever created in any fashion or shape. Now. So Jesus could not have died for us. Even in the dateless past. The spiritual dateless past. Billions or trillions of years before God ever made anything. He could not have died for us as God. Why? Because the redemption is of man and of the corruption of the human spirit and mind and body. The fall of man was the fall of man's spirit into sin and resulting through what he's done in his body and so on. So, so Jesus, watch this, Jesus of necessity had to become and be refashioned in a way we don't understand right now, but had to be fashioned and adjusted and, and made in a way Back in the dateless past, he had to become a human spirit. <laughs> oh my God. He had to become a human spirit in the dateless past before he could die for us in the dateless past and, and in the eternity. So dying for us in eternity from the dateless past to eternity, 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 the future. We were redeemed, but Jesus had to become a human spirit before he could first die for us in the dateless past. Revelation 13, 8. Before he could become the Lamb of God for the sin of the world in the future. He had to do this in the spirit in the dateless past. Before the foundation of the earth was even made. But in order for him to do so. He had to become. And be refashioned if you would. Into a human spirit as God. As the second person of God. So that, oh my God, so that he could legally redeem us in eternity past for eternity future. Or in the spirit. Which means that Jesus. How long has Jesus in his spirit been human? Trillions of years. At least billions of years. Or maybe a trillion years or more. Now look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Verse 46. However, the spiritual was not first. Not in this earth. In other words, God did not create Jesus before he created Adam on the earth. He's talking about on the earth. Because now we know in the spirit it was the other way around. Long before there was any creation. Long before there was any man. God made the earth first. 
gave Lucifer this kingdom, gave him this kingdom. This thing existed for about a billion years or so. And then Lucifer rebelled against God. And the Lord overthrew it and flooded the earth with a flood that was far greater, of course, than the flood of Noah. And that was billions of years ago. And scientists have proven that, of course. The pre-Adamic is very clear. We touch on it in the Golden Glory book and so on. Very interesting to study. Very real scientists and so on. All of the knowledge of science confirm the pre-Adamic creation and those creatures that were here, of course, dinosaurs and all those and so on. No. But long before that, we don't know how long, but you know, God is always way ahead of time and everything. So we know that before long, you might say long before God ever made the foundation of this earth, the first time and formed the first creation, the pre-Adamic creation on this earth at first, long before he ever started to do that, Jesus himself was refashioned into a human spirit and died for us, was slain for us in a way we don't understand, but was slain for us in eternity past. Became the Lamb of God for us to take care of us spiritually. Oh my God. For eternity. To redeem mankind for eternity. Long before there was even an earth or a foundation of the earth. Or any creation made billions of years before that already. Jesus was refashioned into a human spirit as God. To die for us and was slain for us according to Revelation 13.8. In the dateless past or in eternity, because eternity past, eternity future, that is just the terminology we use. It's just eternity to God. It's just eternity. It's forever and ever and ever and ever. The eternal Jesus of the past, if you would, of the eternal past of trillions of years ago, became human in his spirit and was slain for us probably trillions of years before God ever fashioned the earth and started the creation of the earth and the planets and everything. And, and, and long before that, Jesus died for us in the eternal past, past. So the eternal Jesus became a human spirit and was died for and died for us and was restored in eternity. He died and he was restored. Because when he came to the earth, he was pure and holy in his spirit. And it's just amazing. It is just amazing all that Jesus did for us. This is the eternal Jesus. This is the glory and the power. This is the amazing truth of the eternal Jesus. And so in the natural creation, things are always turned the other way around. Adam, first Adam was first in the earth, created in the earth. And so then, of course, Jesus came in 1 BC, 4,000 years later. And he became man and his body was fashioned. And him in spirit was placed inside the womb of Mary and he was born a human. But in reality, in spiritual reality, now this is true, however, the spiritual is not first in the earth, but the natural and afterwards the spiritual. Because the first man was of the earth made Adam, the second man is the Lord from heaven. But in heaven and in eternity, it was the other way around. That Jesus was first and he became the slain for us as the Lamb of God, but he had to become a human spirit before he could be sacrificed for us in the spirit, in the dateless past of the spirit world of eternity. Why? Because no God had ever sinned. No person of God had ever sinned. And it would be trillions of years later that Adam and his descendants would for 70,000 years walk this earth and live the life of sin. And, and that Jesus would come after uh, 4,000 years to redeem us. But that is when he became a human spirit was in the dateless past before he first died for us and was slain for us in the eternal past to be redeemed and then resurrected and raised up by the Father in the eternal past to be secure for us as our Lord and Savior and as the God-man, the God-man of the Spirit, the eternal Jesus, the God-man of the eternal Spirit from the dateless past to the date, this future, the eternal future, or future, or future, all futures, that Jesus was secured before time that he became human spirit for us and died for us and redeemed us. Hallelujah. So the eternal Jesus had been waiting for probably a trillion years or more after he became a human spirit and after he was first sacrificed for us in the spirit and then raised by the Father, resurrected and restored by the Father, and the eternal creation of man in the spirit realm was done 
by Jesus probably a trillion years before he was incarnated in the earth 4,000 years after Adam and 2,000 years after Abraham. You talk about God 